just two shutouts away from tying the seven you had last year. Can you identify a change between this year and last year as far as defense and goalkeeping goes? Um, I think defensively we've gotten a lot more confident in each other and like trusting the process. We communicate a lot like when we have people coming in on attack, like communicating who has ball, who has what. And I think like improving the communication has helped us a lot to be able to achieve those shutouts. I mean, we've essentially had the same roster for two years, minus the freshmen that came in this year. Um, so that, I think, has also given, given us like a unique opportunity to connect with each other even further. Um, we haven't had too much disruption in team chemistry going from this year to last year. I think we've just been able to like build on what we had last year and really grow and take every opportunity. What is this next stretch of games? What's the importance of that? Um, I think for us, uh, what's going to be most important is just remaining super positive and um, really staying together as a team. I think when teams turn on each other, that's when these streaks are really hard and um, it's going to make it like harder to get through these three games together. But I have um, full trust in our team that we're going to be able to maintain that positive attitude and that team energy that we've worked so hard to build up. and. Um, we've already been doing so all week this week, um, just going to support each other and making sure we're there for each other. So I'm excited to see how we navigate these three games this week. I think, too, like going off of that, we've been through a lot this season, obviously, like having to go remote and being off for a week and being able to like kind of battle against those adversities has really helped us be like super flexible. So even if it might be a tougher game or like we have three games in the span of four days, I think being able to overcome like all these obstacles has really helped us too. And then, can you just kind of each speak on the importance of having your three goalkeepers? I mean, it definitely helps in practices. We have lots of opportunities to play against all three goalies, which helps us in scrimmages and team play, um, different activities that we can do at practice, which a lot of teams don't have the opportunity to do. And then in the games, I mean, it helps to have three goalies with a lot of the same ability because um, no matter what, like we're always going to have a goalie ready. Um, and I think it helps us as like defenders, forwards, middies, whatever we play. I think we have full trust in whoever's in the goal behind us. So I think that helps us stay a little bit more calm as well. I think so too. Like all three of them are obviously very good and they all play a little differently. So being able to have a goalie that's each individually good in something else makes playing against like other goalies a lot easier to overcome when like certain goalies are also good at what they are good at. Changing coaches from last season to this season, how has that played a part in the historical start that the team has had this season? Coach Bridget has been phenomenal this season. She has been super supportive as a coach, and I think she navigated this change really um, smoothly last year. I think having her as an assistant coach in the past has made it a little bit easier because we've already known who she is, and so... We didn't really have to get over that change. I think the challenge for us was um, kind of us respecting her in a new way and um, trying to fill that new coaching position and us figuring out what type of relationship we have with our coach now. But I think as a team, we've entered into this new season with a really good start, and she's been a significant part in us winning these games so far. I think her constant support and um, just – doing whatever needs to be done for the team. I think that has like fulfilled a lot of trust in the athletes and we trust her coaching and her visions for us. So I think that that helps us feel more confident and excited to play and like wanting to win those games even more. So Emily, being the only captain who's not a senior, um, <laughs> seems like the freshman got a lot of playing time and it played well. Um, I think Bridget especially gives opportunity like to every single person on the bench. And it makes me feel like really good that we're able to take like people out and put younger people in and it's the same exact game like it's very smooth um, so like I think next year too is gonna be really good I don't think there's much of like a difference of what it's gonna be like next year with nine seniors on the team how would you guys say that you're kind of treating this? so going from no seniors last year to nine this year how are you approaching these games with nine people that are going to be graduating after the end of this, this season? Yeah, I mean, us nine seniors have really been together since the beginning. We haven't had much change in our class um, other than a few additions and some people leaving. But 
Um, it's been a pretty solid class from the start, and so I think we all have wanted it so badly since freshman year, and now we have the skill and the um, team to do it, and I think um, having our bench be so deep with talent and skill and um, having that trust in each other, I think this year has really made it um, our goals attainable and reachable, and I think we're all super confident in that, and I think having nine seniors makes it a little bit more motivational for us to win because we don't want to go out with a loss. Like, we want to go all the way. So I think um, it definitely helps, but um, we're excited for where this team can go in the future as well. I think, too, like, I'm only the grade under them, so they've kind of been, like, my family and who has taught me everything. So wanting to do it for them and, like, getting the entire team to want to do it for them as well, especially because our freshman class is just as big as them. So like kind of filling their shoes as they go and leaving the legacy that we're working towards on for when they like do eventually leave is where we find that like common goal and wanting to move forward and stay undefeated.